Hi, I'm Sheriff John Bennell. For 27 years of law enforcement, I know that quick thinking is the key to survive in a life or death situation. So we're going to show you videos of officers doing just that. So sit back and hold on tight, because this thing's going to the top. And it's coming down fast. West County, Ohio. Cops randomly stop a car on a residential street as a brake light is missing from the rear. As a cop casually approaches, the driver decides to make a sudden getaway. After making a quick radio call, the officers find out the car has been reported missing and hijacked by two armed robbers. After a short drive through busy streets, the crooks think they can outrun the law by leading the cops onto the highway. These mindless felons had moments before held up a liquor store and the cops keep a safe distance from the car. Speeds reach over 120 miles an hour and the police know they need to bring this situation to a stop as these lawless bandits jeopardize the lives of innocent bystanders. Watch closely as the passenger of the stolen vehicle brandishes his call handgun and opens fires on the cops. This irresponsible and callous stunt took this situation to a whole new level and officers know that this has come to a standstill. All I remember thinking was my wife. Those bullets were bouncing off the bonnet and all I could think of was my daughter growing up without her daddy. The quick thinking of Officer Randy Townsend meant this game of cat and mouse was nearing the end. What these crooks didn't know was Sheriff Townsend had radioed through to officers further upstate and they were preparing to stop this car with minimal casualty to the public and to themselves. The usual way to stop a car is to use a stinger. But once we saw him move off the road into the airport, we had to act fast and with brute boss. Blowing out the tires with a pistol is a last resort for a cop. But the chase was nearing a horrific climax, which could kill hundreds. The crooks were finally forced to stop the car as the road leading to the terminal was blocked. When I approached the car, I could see the gun in the footwell. And I remember just aimed my pistol in his face and I whispered, you ain't getting away with this. These crooks thought their days would end with a handful of cash and a couple of bottles of cheap liquor. All they're gonna end up with seven years in a state penitentiary and a vivid memory of the day they try to outrun the cops. Day after day, cops continue to risk their lives in order to put these criminals behind bars. With increasing technology and communication, it's harder for the crooks to get away from the law and justice. If there's anything we've learned from today's videos, don't mess with the law. I'm Sheriff John Bunnell, and you've been watching the world's widest police videos.